Take three to six capsules 45 minutes before weightlifting. Do not go to the gym until you've taken three to six capsules of arachidonic acid <laughs> because that's absolutely essential to your muscle building. Riggity, riggity, Elon Musk's Neuralink has allowed a monkey to play Pong by using just its mind. Can we digest that for just a second? And so this video is vital because I'll explain how to correctly interpret research and by doing so, allow people to essentially save wasting their money on supplements that they don't need. And to my delight, there is a new muscle building fitness supplement that's just exploded onto the market. And one of the companies that sell it are Enhanced Athletes who project longevity, balanced health and fitness goals, excellent much needed supplements, transparency of information such as this natural athlete, I'll get to that soon. And they are led by their leader, not a Dr. Tony Huge, who's just a great fitness role model. I think I got that right. Dude, you're trying way too hard. This dude, not enough to be honest. Tony Huge, fasted workout, meaning not eating before gym can result in faster fat loss. But for those of us with super fast ectomorph metabolisms, we have to be careful not to go catabolic. That is literally the worst fitness sentence I've ever read. Somatotype me to the moon because that was amazing. And by the way, anabolic metabolism, if we were to visualize it, would be wave-like in structure. I've explained this before in this video in depth, which I'll link below. You are not anabolic or catabolic. Don't go catabolic means nothing. It's bro science nonsense. You are a mixture of both throughout the day and you need both processes throughout the day. If you didn't have catabolism, the breaking down of substances, you'd be very sick. And so catabolism follows anabolism, but your goal to build muscle is more anabolism over a day, which is known as net anabolism. The amount of over-the-counter supplements they push to people when Dr. Huge and his cast of natties are pounding trough loads of compounds, the ultimate stack right there, Sure it is, mate. Sure it is. Organ support. I can think of another way you could give your organs a rest, which wouldn't be supplements. That would just be common sense. But essentially, you can sum this up again by people who are juicing, selling you natural test boosters. But this sponsored enhanced athlete and IFBB pro is actually Natty because she says so on a massive YouTube channel, ironically called Truly. I don't think she's telling the Truly. Legit claims natural. I'm not joking. And she can push her Hummer down the street. Look at that title. Not surprised they turned off the ratings with that. Is there any actual food in the kitchen or is it just supplements? And here's a picture of a parrot. Is that a parrot? I don't know, probably. I muted the video by this point, forgot to turn off subtitles though. But I do forgive this athlete because she's selling me a product to stay anabolic. I refer to my rant at the start of this video. But relax because this athlete will sell you anything that they put in her hand. And if in any doubt about her allegiances, She's clearly part of the not a Dr. Tony Huge ethos right there. For SARMS, direct message saying SARMS. Influencer. Taking supplements like all day. Joking aside, how sad is that? Take supplements like all day shred slim to help with your fat burning goals. Tag a supplement shop below that should carry our products. And a list of lemmings are actually doing that as if Dr. Huge's supplements are in any way credible. And nothing projects a balanced approach to health and fitness than a pizza with a carb supplement. But to the new muscle building supplement, Vice Sports asked this question. Are bugs the workout protein of the future? No, they are not. Ooh, what's this over here? Generation Iron have piped up. It must be good then. How enhanced arachidonic acid is the newest innovation in supplementation? And if arachidonic acid is a key focus of your muscle building nutrition, then you can get it through eggs and poultry and meat. Huge nutrition, X factor, aggressive labs. This is way too stimulating. Hold on. And enhanced athletes, arachidonic acid, break plateaus, increase recovery, increase muscle mass. And there's more free arachidonic acid face mask. In the words of Connor, who the f is that guy? Effects can be felt in two days. Sure they can, mate. Sure they can. The day you give up on your dreams is the day you give up on yourself. I'll leave that on screen so you can screenshot it, print it, mount it on your bedroom wall. What is it with these fitness stars sticking generic motivational quotes on their pages that they found on Google? Which link to the selling of their supplements? This new muscle building supplement sounds like an absolute bargain. Surely there's a strong evidence base to support these claims. And in no way have all these supplement companies jumped on this new product because it's a saturated market and they're trying to find another way to extract money from people's wallets. Hold on there, Pierre. I know it's 100, 100. Just hold your horses. This is terribly exciting hype fitness industry. I'm buzzing and stoked and all that stuff. Effects of arachidonic acid supplementation on training adaptations in resistant trains males. Roberts et al. Here we go, Pierre. These findings provide preliminary evidence that AA supplementation may have some benefit for individuals engaged in intense resistance training. 
However, although some potentially beneficial trends were observed, AA supplementation had no statistically significant effects on strength, muscle mass, hormonal markers of anabolism, catabolism, or intracellular markers of muscle hypertrophy. I'm sold. Effect of dietary arachidonic acid supplementation on acute muscle adaptive responses to resistance exercise in trained men. A randomized controlled trial, Mitchell et al. Muscle protein synthesis, myofibrillar protein synthesis was not different between groups in the early, post or late post-exercise period. Furthermore, there were no between group differences in the aggregate rate of myofibrillar protein synthesis for the full four hour post-exercise period. Four weeks of ARA supplementation did not alter the early myofibrillar MPS response following an acute bout of resistance exercise. Well, that's certainly a strong evidence base so far. I'm starting to get skeptical of this new supplement, don't stamp all over my dreams. But people will quote the one study that showed a benefit. And here it is by Orms et al. And so there's always that one study, but when you look closer, is not convincing. But that doesn't matter because the supplement companies will just use it. And so I went to Amazon with that in mind, and of course, there it is, the Tampa research that they quote as to why this is effective, not the multiple other studies which do not support this supplement for muscle growth. And that is why an evidence base, many research articles, peer-reviewed research, meta-analysis are so important. And if you want to claim something and you are selling that supplement, the responsibility on you is to provide multiple intervention studies with strong results in order to prove what you are saying. And so Orm Tatal initially provided this information at a conference and some websites who kind of link to these supplements are disingenuously using this as a factual piece of research when indeed it wasn't even peer reviewed at this point, which I would say is very misleading. However, the research was later developed and has now been put in a peer reviewed journal and here it is. And so 30 strength trained males were randomly divided into two groups the supplement group and the placebo control group. Then both groups underwent an eight week, three day per week, non-periodized training protocol. And these were the exercises that they did across those eight weeks. Our results suggest that strength trained individuals can have a beneficial effect on lean body mass and muscle power supplementing with arachidonic acid. But here's what the website and the supplement sellers won't tell you about this piece of research and get ready for this, this is amazing. And so partial funding from this study came from molecular nutrition. Five points for the person who can guess what supplement that they sell, arachidonic acid. Now I do have complete faith in the supplement and fitness industry to be ethical and transparent and all that. And so let's just say that they were trying to test their product in a transparent manner, maybe, probably. Also, this study did not control for protein intake or calorie intake amounts amongst participants. How much protein, how many calories were the supplement group taking? People within the supplement group taking? No idea, mate. How many, how many calories or protein intake amongst the control group? The people in that group? No idea. Can the amount of protein and calories that a person takes affect their potential to grow muscle mass? Absolutely, yes, it's vital. So why was that not controlled for in a study where they were trying to isolate the effect of a certain supplement? But the researchers, to be fair to them, they do acknowledge, and I quote, inherent limitations in their piece of research. Clinically proven. Clinically proven. We've done our research. This is a huge limitation and massively poor in design and then adds to how peculiar the results are which contrast to other peer-reviewed papers. Phase one of this study was on humans. Phase two gave the supplement to rats. And as Mitch Letal analyzes for this piece of research, reported inconclusive results as to the ability of ARA to induce gains in lean body or muscle mass and strength. Additionally, a single animal study demonstrated that ARA supplementation had only a minor effect of anabolic signaling following a bout of electrical stimulation. That was the rat bit of the study. And this is why I do what I do, because I am hoping that this will help you, not just with this supplement, but how you can approach information with other supplements. And so I don't even think that these supplement sellers really read the papers. I just think they take one positive statement from an abstract of one paper, and that's enough to be selling a supplement and have so-called research to support it. And by the way, the dose in that study was 1500 milligrams, and if you want to take what Enhanced Athlete recommends as three to six 350 milligram tablets before your workout based on one piece of research with a flawed design conflicting with other data funded by a supplement company, then that's your choice. But the picture of the spider is cool, so there's that. That is why an evidence base is so important, which I recommend that people actually base the selling of their supplements on instead of cool graphics and a free face mask. <laughs>